Hi guys, I'm back with a new book this week. I know it's been a long time since I have made my last video, but hey, I have this very busy thing called life. So, yeah. So this week's book is So here are a few interesting facts about Bronte and her book. It was the maiden book that she had written in her whole lifetime and after she published the book it did not become so popular as it is now. But after a decade or so people started noticing this book and today this book is at the top of his literary game. So as this book progresses further there are a lot of characters in this book but don't worry at the end only a few remain. Yeah, I won't spoil the book for you. So the book opens when Lockwood Heathcliff's tenant visits his house. There he encounter uh, he meets with an accident and a supernatural encounter. So when he goes back to his house at Thrushcross Grange, he falls ill, and while Nellie Dean is taking care of him, Nellie Dean, by the way, is the servant who grew up at Wuthering Heights. So this Lockwood tells Nellie Dean to tell him the story about Heathcliff's life. Mr. Earnshaw is a farmer based in Yorkshire. One day he brings an orphan boy uh, from Liverpool. So he names the boy Heathcliff and raises him along with his two children, Hindley and Catherine. Catherine immediately grows fond of Heathcliff, but Hindley, he grows jealous of him. Catherine and Heathcliff they grow up together, fond of each other, until they end up at the place of Linton's. Now, Edgar and Isabella Linton are the siblings. They welcome Catherine with open arms, but they treat Heathcliff as an outsider. So, they, as Catherine grows fond of Edgar, she tells Nellie Dean one day that she will not marry Heathcliff. By accident, Heathcliff fears this and leaves the house for three years. After Heathcliff leaves, Catherine continues to court and ends up marrying Edgar. Their happy life is short-lived because they are two different people and also because Heathcliff returns. The relationships get further messed up because Heathcliff starts to live with Hindley and his son Hayden. I told you there are many characters in this book. Also, to make things worse, Heathcliff marries Isabella, Edgar's sister. And as soon as he marries, Catherine gives birth to Edgar's son and dies. Catherine's daughter is named as Cathy. And after her death, Heathcliff wants revenge from Edgar as he thinks that Catherine died because of Edgar. He waits for that revenge for 17 years. And after 17 years, he forces Cathy to marry his son Linton. By the time he owns the heights, Edgar dies and eventually he becomes the owner of the Thrush Cross Grange too. The only thing he wants is to unite with his soulmate Catherine. So what happens at the end? Who dies? Who lives? Find out after reading this book. As I was reading this book, honestly, I was searching for a single line of happiness. This much. But I did not find any. But yes, it's a literary classic as they say so. If you like my video, please share, comment, subscribe. Ciao!